basically this is an interactive system uh, for allowing the computer to understand the scene. Uh, so this is important because it enables a lot of different applications. Uh, so for example, we're very interested in trying to do things to help people who are partially sighted. Uh, we're working with a group who do uh, smart specs. Um, and basically, if the software in the smart specs can understand what's kind of going on in the scene that the person can see, uh, we can, for example, do things like um, directing people to uh, the places they want to go in the scene, allowing them to find sort of the objects they're looking for. It can also be used in different contexts to allow uh, robots to navigate around scenes. So, so at the moment, this is, um, as you can see, it's a very sort of, you know, sort of early stage technology. I mean, cl clearly, if you were going to uh, deploy it in like a, a real system like the sort of smart glasses, um, which we're working on, uh, you'd need it to, to like have a much higher accuracy than it currently has. Um, but what we've um, got here um, allows to like people to actually kind of interactively kind of correct any segmentation errors which um, are made. Um, by keeping the user in the loop, it means that you're kind of not completely reliant on the um, automated model you're learning. Um, basically, the more um, training data the user provides to the algorithm, the better it's going to perform. You could use it for sort of like art potentially. I know sort of, um, th there's been some interest in that. C certainly, sort of like at the moment, you get these kind of quite sort of interesting sort of um, arty effects, and particularly in places where um, you know you haven't got enough training data for particular parts of the world, um, and so actually you, you get these quite interesting images out. Thank <laughs> you.